Welcome to review by DJ's PRC. Today we have the Hot Racing Soldering Jig. It says in the name, it's a jig to be able to solder stuff. Uh, this was a video requested by Thomas. I hope I got this right. If you're watching, here you go. Uh, I've been using this jig in a couple of my videos to be able to do certain soldering because uh, you can solder a lot of connectors uh, with this guy here you can do bullets you can do deans ec3s ic3s uh, xd60s uh, pretty much anything that's you can solder outside uh, out there even wire itself with using these alligator clips here uh, and the jig has multiple ways to use it, even 3.2 uh, yeah, and 5 mil on the side. Uh, you have Traxxas, you have pretty much here your Deans, your XT60s, uh, ICs, ECs, and this idea, like I said, you're, you have your bullets. And the other fun fact about this guy here, you can separate them. There is a strong magnet on this side here that holds and when you're soldering the bullets on the side you can just physically flip it it will hold itself the only thing i don't like uh it doesn't have enough weight in for me because sometimes you'll be uh let's say you'll have i don't have a bullet right now but let's use the alligator clip as a bullet You'll grab your saw, your gun, and you'll be soldering, and you, you you're gonna want to put a little bit more pressure on it for some reason, and it starts running around on you. Uh, having a third hand would be even better. You can hold it and be able to hold your wire or vice versa. Um, but again, that's me. There's other ways you could do it. You could put an anti-slip anti mat underneath or uh, something that prevents it from moving. Now, let's separate it in two here. You do have other holes here. You can't really use them. Uh, simple reason is, is if you try, it's... Yeah, you could do something. Let's, let's grab the IC3s here. They kind of fit. You could. There's ways. If you have a big bullet, you could use this hole right there. Uh, I don't know. I never really used them. But this guy here, the reason this magnet is recessed is because you're able to put it on the side to be able to use your, your Deans, your XT60, and so on and so on. And you have your flat spot here um, for your Traxxas. Or even any flat, flat spade. Um, when I, if I do use the uh, alligator clips, I put them in the middle of the, the bolt here. And open it, put your wire, and you're able to grab your gun and directly solder. Move that. Now, if you grab your, your Deans, your Deans fits perfectly in it. Maybe a little bit too far in. Let's bring it out. There you go. Again, you're able to go solder directly to it. Same thing for the ICs. You just need to open it a little bit more. There you go. XT60s is the same thing too. I just didn't have one close by to grab. Um, and then you just close it down. Now, I was able to solder bigger bullets with these guys here. Because you can physically open this a lot bigger than you, a lot of people think. And let's say we grab the IC. And again, it holds itself. It, there's a lot of ways you can use this. And multiple ways. 
Um, yeah. But again, here's a, a closer look. If the camera can focus, there we go. The five, 3.2. Here you'll have your uh, Traxxas, anything that's a flat spade. Multiple connectors on this guy on this side here. That would be your ICs, your XDs, your Deans. Uh, I name it, you can do it on this guy. On here you have nothing. Here you'll have your bullets. Same thing on the side here. And like I said, when you crack it in two, you have access to the middle. That you physically, like I said, you could use if you put it flat, you're able to, uh, to put your connector like this guy goes in. I never used it, but that would work. And there you go. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. I'll be gladly to answer you guys. And thank you for watching. And don't forget, if you like this video, hit the, th the thumbs up in that corner. And don't forget to subscribe. It does help a lot. Thank you for watching.